Well, Scott Rain certainly loves nothing better than a bargain buy, and Angus Indiana is certainly proving to be exactly that. I caught up with the Victorian mentor following his first Club Medangle run. Well, Scott, good to catch up with you. Congratulations on the effort of Angus Indiana, his first start here at Club Medangle. It led with Leighton Green in the sulky. Gave a bold showing. He certainly did. Uh, he's uh, a fairly dour horse that um, may just lack that little bit of high speed that's required here at Menangle, but I was proud of him and um, I thought it was a good run considering he's never had a start on the track. Yeah, you did on this particular occasion. It is a different beast, this circuit. Absolutely. Um, being a high speed track and, uh, you know, the, the closing sections that they can run here, um, I think that uh, if, I, if he had had another run on the track, I think he would have improved a couple of lengths. But I'm definitely proud of him. He ran a great race. Yeah, very solid fourth. So, there, as you mentioned, there is improvement. Absolutely, I think so. Um, you know, it's it's hopefully, um, you know, that this trip and running here tonight will, will bring him on for the future. That's, that's what I was, I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> First impressions of uh, Club and Angle? Love it. Great facility. Um, you know, every, everything here is just spot on. Uh, the, 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 the stall, the horse stalls, the wash bays, everything's just great, yeah. Scott, you hail from a place near Bendigo called Leichard, a slightly different spelling to the Leichard in New South Wales. In fact, the eighth wonder of the world, Leichard Oval. The home of the Tigers. Home of the Tigers. The West Tigers successful tonight yeah. over the Gold Coast Titans. So your Leichard and, and our Leichard, probably sisters. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, like it's just a, it's a little place uh, just near Morong there, on uh, probably uh, uh, west of Bendigo, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes out of town. It's um, a, a great uh, place to train the horses. I train out of Dave Van Ryan's place, and everyone out there is yeah, it's a wonderful place to train. But you are a Queenslander. I, I'm originally a Queenslander, yeah, and. Um, just got, come down to Victoria about 10 years ago to, for a bit of opportunity. And uh, now it seems like Queensland might be doing a little bit the better. So, <laughs> but yeah, go the Maroons. <laughs> so how did you get involved in harness racing? Uh, just through my brother. Um, y years ago, oh, this, this is probably over 20 years ago, he, um, he claimed a horse uh, in Victoria and, and brought it up home to Queensland. And uh, one morning he just said, you should come out and, ha and uh, see what it's all about. And I was definitely bitten by the bug then and just went from there you know so I've been involved at various levels since, since then either breeding training and or driving. We should mention Queensland bred Victorian is where you reside but you follow the South Sydney bunnies. Yeah go for the bunnies um, it, it's just uh, back, back when I was a kid I used to follow a player called Jason Taylor who played for the North Bears and um, I, he took over the bunnies um, coaching role and ever since he started there I just ju jumped on the bunny bandwagon and, and been on it ever since. Angus Indiana is one of how many horses you train? Uh, at the moment I've got three in work. Um, the number sort of fluctuates between two and four. Sometimes I can get up to six, you know, I have in the past, but I only do it as a mainly as a hobby and uh, a family venture, so I don't like to have too many, you know, because uh, it's only me and my partner that, that do them. As I mentioned, you're always on the lookout for a bargain buy. Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, it's it's hard to uh, get into the game or in, into a nice horse without having a lot of money. So um, I'm always on the hunt, and so is my partner. She's got a very good eye for for a horse, um, and she watches just uh, a lot of replays. You know, and if she notices anything on the the training or internet that uh, catches her eye, we make inquiries. Scott, we're standing here in front of the JC Caffin on a roll and also this magnificent display. You are a proud Indigenous man. That's right, yeah. Uh, my family uh, hails from the Mount Isa region um, and that's uh, Calcadoon land. And um, yeah, I've actually named a couple of horses after, you know, with that suffix or prefix, I should say, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the first one of them, which was about eight or so years ago, Calcadoon Warrior. And there was a very respectful way this was handled for the naming. Yeah, absolutely. I, I asked my dad about it and um, he said, oh, look, if that's what you want to do, you'll, you'll have to approach the, um, the elders and make, get their permission and make sure you can use that name. And that's what I did. I, I put the, the name through uh, HRV and, and um, we got in contact with the elders and, and uh, to our delight, they approved it. And... They were actually pretty excited about um, having a horse, you know, with that with that name. 
You're also very delighted by the way Harness Racing Victoria handled the situation. Absolutely, yeah. That they um, they were ve they were very good and instrumental, in fact, in in um, you know getting that name to be allowed to be used. And um, yes, I really appreciate everything they've done as well. You now have Calcadoon Dreaming. Yes, he's a, a three-year-old that um, he's just a family-bred horse. Um, he's a betting line, uh, a little bit slow to come to hand, but uh, he's he's run a. a a very credible uh, fourth at Ballarat a couple starts ago and prior to that he just hasn't had much luck he's been um, knocked over he had a race fall on his uh, or might have been his second ever start I think so yeah he's um, he's been unlucky but he, he's got ability yeah that's for sure. Scott did you do a lot of driving? Uh, I, I used to back when I had my claim I, I used to drive a fair bit up in Queensland um, for mainly for a, a gentleman called Ray Cross, uh, who trains uh, in, uh, just out of a place called Bet Bet near Maribyrn, Victoria, uh, and just a bit of freelance up there. And I've I, I come down to Victoria with my claim and and um, had had a few drives there. And don't know how many winners I've driven, but nearly 50 odd, I'd suppose. But yeah, just a these days I mainly focus on my training. I like to give young people a go. Well, speaking of young people, you've had a wonderful association with Sean O'Sullivan, bred in the purple, and also Michael Bellman. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Sean O'Sullivan, he's, he's just a, a wonderful young man um, from a, an excellent family. He's a credit to his mum and dad, um, Teresa and, and Jimmy. Um, and he, he's got plenty of ability in the gig. Uh, he's a very good, uh, astute judge of pace. And, um, you know, when you've got a horse like my fella who likes to be rolling out in front, it's definitely an asset. And yeah, he's he's just a wonderful young man. Your training career, Scott, has mainly been hands-on, and you've been a, a work in progress, le learning from one horse to the next. Has there been any influences as far as your career is concerned? Absolutely. Look, early days, my brother was a, a big influence. You know, he, he was just starting out as well, so just um, learning what he knew. And uh, in, in, uh, there's a lot of uh, trainers in Queensland that I sort of learnt from and. There was an older gentleman called Jack Walterspiel where who we had the horses out in Queensland and he, he was uh, a, a very um, a very good sort of instructor and he was a hard taskmaster. If you're out there late, he used to give you the old good afternoon, so you had to be out there on time just to keep him happy. But in Victoria, look, there's plenty of good um, trainers and drivers there. Got a lot of respect for. The likes of uh, you know Chris Alford, John Caldo, Kieran Manning, James Herbertson is a top young driver there who does a great job. Just, you, I think if you just follow the people who have success and and uh, you know follow what they do and respect what they do, you hopefully will have some yourself. On the subject of a great young drivers, the gentleman that's just looking over your left shoulder, Leighton Green, drove for you to know it. Yep. There's an interesting story there. There is. Um, when I was training in Queensland, we used to train out of his um, uh, parents' property, and I've known him since he was around 12. And um, back, back in uh, those days, when he was a little fellow, we, um, we we used to call him the naughty little colt because he he used to uh, you know get into a bit of mischief around the property. But he's a wonderful young kid and or well, young man now, and his driving is he speaks for itself. Like he does a terrific job here, or well, all over um, New South Wales, but. He's driven a lot of winners here at Menangle. I know he works for the uh, the McDowells and he does a terrific job driving for the, for them as well. Yeah, he's, no doubt he is one of our rising stars. He's very proud to have his name on the JC Caffin Honour Roll. Now, you would also one day like to be able to drive in this particular event. I've been waiting for the phone call, but um, I'd love to get a um, get a start in this race. I think it would be um, it'd be great to to have a, a bit of Victorian flavour in it. Or, you know, and I, I know there's been. I've seen um, Danny Gat Bouquet's up on the photo there. So, so he's a, he was in Queensland when I was up there, and it'd be it'd be great to get a steer in it. That's for sure. It's certainly a wonderful tribute. It, it is. It, this this whole mural. I, I I come and had a look at it earlier, and it's just yeah. It's it's wonderful that they, that the club has um, has put this up and is uh, you know recognising the indigenous people in the industry and and puts this race on. Yeah, it's it's outstanding. Well, Scott, you've stated a very strong case for an invitation. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Good to catch up with you.